Oh my gosh, are you ready for this? Are you ready for March? I mean, are you feeling lucky? Are you feeling the springtime vibe? Yeah, me neither. Seriously. I mean, I don't know what's going on. It's just, just not in it yet. Maybe once I actually get to March, I'll feel it. All right, so March. Okay, here we go. So on the 1st, we're starting off March 1st with a square. The moon is square, not just Venus, but Venus and Mars. Ooh, that's fun, isn't it? Yeah. So then we're moving into the 9th of March where Mercury moves into Aries. This is a good thing because honestly, Mercury doesn't like being in Pisces. So this has been a tough this has been a tough pill to take for a lot of us that are ruled by Mercury, but for all of us that are trying to communicate. I mean, really. So then on the 10th, we have the new moon in Pisces that hits its peak at 5 a.m. It is also daylight savings time for those areas of the U.S. that like still do daylight savings time. I know, it's kind of getting old, isn't it? Mm, yeah. Um, then on the 11th, we have uh, Venus moving into Pisces. Yeah. Um, the 17th is St. Patrick's Day. Woohoo! Yeah, get out your, uh, your shamrocks and uh, green beer. I know, so much fun. On the 19th, we have the sun moving into Aries. We also have the spring equinox and the International Astrology Day shut up very exciting on the 22nd we have mars moving into pisces you know not far behind venus um then we have a lunar eclipse i'm sorry i'm trying to do this without my glasses uh we have a lunar eclipse in libra on the 25th um full moon in libra that hits its peak at 3 a.m Lunar eclipse in Libra, this is a big deal. You know, we still have the that um, Aries and Libra are on the ecliptic because um, Aries is hosting the North Node. That means Libra is hosting the South Node. Um, then, of course, we have Easter for those of you that are celebrating Easter on the 31st. Now, at the end of March, that leaves us with one planet plus South Node in air two planets in earth, two planets plus north node in fire, and four planets in water. Mm -hmm. So we've got Pluto in Aquarius, Mars, Saturn, Venus, and Neptune in Pisces. Um, in Aries, we've got the Sun, Mercury, and north node. In Taurus, we have Jupiter and Uranus. And in South Node, and I'm sorry, in Libra, we have South Node. All right. So now that you kind of know the layout, what's happening, like mostly astrologically, you know, I water it down a lot for the intro to numerology, mostly because this is numerology and not astrology. But it's important that you know some of the stuff that's going on astrologically because it can affect you like throughout the month. So that's why I do it that way. Mm. All right, here's a couple of suggestions that I had from uh, from some people. Um, well, it's not a couple, it's a suggestion. Was to introduce the cards first thing so that I don't have to do it on every video. It's a good suggestion, viable, I'm in. So um, <laughs> the first card deck that I'll be reading from is the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards the usual suspects and the healing oracle crystal reading cards if i can get it in focus what and because we have an eclipse in march i am also going to be reading from moonology the oracle cards i love these cards they're so incredible they're awesome so i throw them in there from time to time um just you know like bringing in a little of yasmin boland i love that i love those cards um so I think this is going to be a great month. I really do. I always feel like March is the first real like energy that we feel in the new year because um, usually, well, always January and February are 
the same month numbers that we have in our life path from November and December. So January is the same number month that we've had in November of the previous year. And December uh, carries over into February. So I know that it's still different because we're in a different vibration, a whole different energy of a new year, but I still feel that carryover from the year before. And I feel like March is the first real like breath of air, the first real feeling that we're going to get from this 44 a year. It's just an opinion. It's not like gospel or anything. So it's just an opinion and, um, you know, take it as you will. <laughs> um, but I think that this is really going to be a great month. I do. Um, my cat is messing with my blackout shade again. So if the lighting changes throughout the day as I'm doing these readings, my apologies. I'm not trying to mess with you. I'm not like, like doing something weird with the light. My cats are not in love with the blackout shade and I don't know why it's been there for a long time, but, um, they just seem to want to look out of the windows that have the blackout shades on them instead of the windows that don't have the blackout shades. I don't, I don't really get that. I don't know what's going on. So anyway, anyway, um, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful month. It's going to be a great one. I'm like getting more into it as I am talking. So um, spring is on its way, right? Um, we'll stick around. Uh, let's see what's in store for your individual life path number. And uh, we'll see you soon. Hello Life Path 3 and welcome to your monthly numerology here at Readings at the Roundtable. Are you ready for March? I think this is going to be a dynamic month for you, really. Three, let me tell you, March for you is a five month and wow, we're bringing in some changes. Yes, we're bringing in a lot of changes, but you know, five is also about fun. It's also about energy and it's about following your passions, following like what you're truly passionate about. Mm, love it. I love it. I love it. I love it for you. This is about being versatile and adaptable through these changes, making these pivotal changes and going, okay, I'm not really sure what we're doing here, but I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with the flow. This is definitely an unpredictable time after being in a four month life path three, you know, we're, we're definitely feeling the, uh, like that was more predictable the four months. Now we're in a seesaw period and we're in a place of very unpredictable ups and downs. I think it's great. I really do. This is a very energetic, dynamic and gregarious time here. Life path three. This is going to feel like you're just free, you know? I mean, I'm not knocking the life path four or, <coughs> excuse me, the four month because I'm a 22 four. But the thing is like in the lifetime, I mean, in the lifetime, in the month of a four, you can really get bogged down in that building energy and that, oh my gosh, I need to build a solid foundation. I need to do this. I need to do that. And in the time of a five, we get to have some fun and feel just like rejuvenated. Yeah. Love it. Love it. The mantra of the five is I am energy and creation, creative action, rejuvenating, dynamic and ex inspiring and passionate. Wow. Yeah. I know I said rejuvenating like several times in this, but I really do think we always need this boost after being in the time of a four. 
And this for you is wonderful because you're all about communication. You know, you're all about self-expression anyway. You know, whether it's in art, writing, um, music, or even doing speaking engagements, you're all about the self-expression. And now you're, you're getting into a time where you can be a bit more versatile with your self-expression. I love it. Also, because you are a three and you're all about communication, you need to pay attention to what Mercury is doing this month because um, Mercury is moving from Pisces, where it's not happy, into Aries, where it's much happier. So this is going to be good for you with that communication thing. So the shadow sides of a five. This could be a time where you, you imagine limitations. And it's time to, like, this is going to give you that energy, that boost to move beyond those imagined limitations. But this is, this is the time where that sort of creeps up on us and goes, oh my gosh, I can't do that. I can't do that. That's fear. That's fear. So it can cause us to feel challenged. It can cause us to feel nervous or restless. And that, and it can cause us to, like, not be able to harness the energy that we feel towards our passions. Like we just want to run towards the finish line. We want to run towards the goal. We need to pace ourselves. We need to pace ourselves here. Okay. The lesson of the five is to harness your energy like any successful athlete uh, to give you the freedom to go beyond your imagined limitations. Because the limitations that we have are right here right here spirit does not want to limit us like path three so remember that i really i think this is such a great time i do uh watch your shadow sides because you know your shadow sides are um judging of the self or others too harshly which could lead us to be pessimistic or exaggerating or getting a little bit gossipy so if you feel like you can't speak your truth, if you feel like uh, you can't communicate openly, then that's a limitation and that's an imagined limitation for you, especially during a, a five month. This can be a very exciting month for you, Life Path 3. Okay, let's see what we've got for you with the cards. Um, I am, you know, there's only really two decks of cards there could be a couple of others i just don't use them often but there's two decks of cards that i use routinely that i do read from the book and i'm using them today Ooh, agate oh i should switch this over shouldn't i um agate healthy body i have so many like agates sitting up here I mean, I have a thing about them. They're just so, I mean, they're just so gorgeous. And I'm always like, ooh, ooh, what's this? What's this? And then somebody's always like, it's an agate. And I'm like, well, it's really pretty. <laughs> and agates can be so many different colors. Okay, second deck. Diana, focused intention. Mm. And the Moonology cards. One more, I swear, and I'll stop. Ooh, 
and cardinal moon. Be bold and make the first move. Well, Life Path 3, I would definitely say that this is a bold month. I would definitely say that. Okay, let's start with Diana, Focused Intentions. What a gorgeous card. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark. This is good. Focus on your um, passions. Okay. And Agate. Um, healthy body. Agate shines its light into the physical body, awakening and igniting the body's innate healing wisdom. Profound healing occurs when you align with the Earth's healing energy. Agate holds the secrets and wisdom to activate this powerful healing process. It is your birthright to know and experience this sacred connection. The medicine of the agate certainly assists in awakening this bond. It restores, grounds, and nurtures the energy field. It brings in all divine qualities of Mother Earth. And it reconnects you to the divine energy flow of the planet. It assists in shamanic journeying to meet the plant and tree divas. That's awesome. And Cardinal Moon. Let's see. I don't always find these very easily. Fixed Moon. It's got to be here close. Yep, here we go. Okay. Um, the Cardinal Moon, be bold and make the first move. Now is the time to be bold, bossy even. Take matters into your own hands. Cardinal signs are powerful and self-starting. They're determined and great at organizing. Drawing this card strongly suggests that you're going to need to be all of those things to get your ideal resolution or position in the situation you're asking about. This card may challenge you on how strongly you really want something. If you're worrying about a situation, it is a suggestion to be less passive. Instead, take an assertive stance as you steer events to where you want them to go. Speak up for what you want. That's you. If you're serious about sorting things out, you may need to take a lead in some way to step up as a leader. I am taking charge of my destiny. And this could be a great time of change for you. This could be a wonderful pivotal change. I mean, seriously. Thank you for joining me today, Life Path 3. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful March. Don't forget to check out your zodiac signs for the new moon and the full moon. And also the playlist on this channel called Reviewed at the Roundtable. A lot of those videos came over from my old channel and I'm redoing them. So let me know what you think. Um, and until we see each other again, Life Path 3, get out there and make your magic. Bye.